Hello everyone, it's time for my top 3 cards for Battlebond. Battlebond will be released in a 2 weeks time and today I'm going to give you my top 3 of this set. As I usually do, I'm going to give you my top 3 cards for common, uncommon, rare and mythics. And I will also, as I did for the previous sets, give you my top card overall. Let's begin our top 3. For the common, we have in third position Stadium Vendors. This is a nice, interesting card. It's a goblin, and when it enters the battlefield, you choose a player. That player adds two mana of any color, of one color they choose. Quite interesting common card. In second position, I have Sky Shroud Claim. You search your library for up to two forests. Put them onto the onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Something that you need also to consider is that the two lands are put on the battlefield, not tapped. In first position, I choose Impulse. For one and one blue, you look at the top four cards of your library, you put one of them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. These were my top 3 cards for common. Now we jump for the uncommon, where in third position I chose 4 cards. The first one, Source to Plowshare. This is a very good uncommon card, quite reprinted many times, but still very valid. Cheering Fanatic, also in third position. This is another Goblin card. And when Cheering Fanatic attacks, choose a card name. Spells with the chosen name cost one less to cast. Beast Within, also in third position. You destroy target permanent, its controller creates a 3 3 green beast creature token. And also in third position, I choose Genesis Chamber, a reprint from Darksteel. Whenever non Token creatures enter the battlefield if Genesis Chamber is untapped. That creature's controller creates a plus one, a one one colorless mirror artifact creature token. In second position, for uncommon, we have Chain Lightning for one red. Chain Lightning is 3 damage to any target, that means player, creature, or planeswalker. That, then that player or that permanent controller may pay two. If the player does, they may copy the spell and choose new targets for that copy. In first position, we have Spell Snare. This is a reprint from Ravnica. Remember, soon we'll go back to Ravnica for the third time. For one blue, you target, you counter target spell with converted mana cost 2. These were the top three cards for Uncommon. As you can see, Uncommon is quite strong in Battlebond. Now we have the top 3 for rare. In third position we have two cards. Mystic Confluence, 3 and 2 blue. You choose 3 and you can and you can choose the same ability multiple times. Counter target spell unless it controls phase 3. Return target creatures to its owner's hands or you draw a card. With Mystic Conference in third position, we have Greater Good. This is another reprint of a good green card. For two and two green, you sacrifice a creature, you draw cards equals to the sacrifice creature's power, then discard three cards. In second position, we have Diabolic Intact. This is a tutor. For one and one black, as an additional cost, you need to sacrifice a creature. You search your library for a card and put that card into your hand, then shuffle your library. In first position, for the rare cards, I chose Spellseeker. Spellseeker enters the battlefield. You may search your library for an instant or sorcery card with converted mana cost 2 or less. Reveal it and put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Also, in first position, I have another card, and this one is Seedborn Muse. Seedborn Muse, 
this is another reprint this card was reprinted multiple times from the set legions also in 10th edition and and this one is the number one card for rare for battle bond now we are in the last few cards we are at the mythic slot in third position true name nemesis true name nemesis enters the battlefield choose a player it has protection for the chosen player this card is used in modern and is a very powerful card also in third position for the mythics i have bramble sovereign for two and two green whenever another non-talking creature enters the battlefield you may pay one and one green if you do that creature's controller creates a token that's a copy of that creature in second position and i believe in the mythic battle ball is very strong in value i have also two cards the first one lantex another reprint another very expensive reprint and very strong at the beginning of your upkeep if an opponent controls more lands than you you may search your library for up to three basic lands reveal them put them into your hand and shuffle your library also in second position we have a arena rector this card is a very strong card when arena rector dies you may exile it if you do search your library for a placewalker put it on the battlefield then shuffle your library you can imagine that with this card you can put a nicole bolas a nugin or another very powerful planeswalker like chase the mind scalper on the battlefield without paying its mana cost this is in second position that means that we have only one card that is the mythic number one and that card is nothing less than doubling season this card is the number one card for mythic it is a very very powerful card it's a very expensive card at least after the reprint was reaching in the region of 60 to 70 dollars now with this reprint reprint is around 40 to 50 dollars doubling season if an effect would create one or more token under your control it creates twice that many of those tokens if an effect would put one or more counters on a permanent you control it put twice that many of those counters on that permanent instead this card is the number one for mythic and i believe is the most expensive card in this set now we have the overall number one card for battle bond and the overall number one card in my opinion is doubling season doubling season is the number one card overall card for battle bond as i said battle bond has quite very interesting cards in the mythic and the rare slot also in the uncommon i believe it has very good value i don't know in the future if this value will hold but for sure the reprints of doubling season lentex true, true name nemesis will hold a very good price and will increase the value of battle Bond. doubling season is the number one overall card of this set is the chase card for anyone opening booster boxes for battle bond and i hope you all have luck in finding this card subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos about magic the gathering and stay tuned to this channel